See in this box, you know what time it is. What up y'all, the Jeff Wilson here. And as you see, we have this another box in front of me. Nothing new for this channel. But what do we have here today? We have the Amstack. Now, as you see, it's all packaged in here. We got the rotary. We got part of the laser frame. We got hold downs. We got parts. Let's get all this out of here. Now, what we have here is the Amsec Maker X7 Pro. As you see, there's a lot to put together on this. And we got a whole lot of parts. A lot of fun coming right ahead. Now, the very first thing we have to do is take these M5 screws. And there's going to be two on each corner. So. And when you're having it there'll be a little electrical connection right back here and you'll want it at this corner right here. Now for our next step, we're going to take, we got these three legs and then we got one of our controller. Our controller is going to go at this front corner right here and our other legs are going to go around there and we're using these M5 screws as well. Now for step three, we have to take these little bitty clamps after we run our belt through the track, over the roller, back through the track, we'll place them in each one of these corners. And then once we get it in there, we'll actually take that Allen and tighten it down. Well, technically loosen it, but tighten it down where it pushes this down onto the belt. Well, I was wrong on that. You actually do tighten them down it was a different style of clamps than what I was thinking it was, but that's a whole three steps to putting the frame part together. Next step, just slide it on our laser. Simple as that. Now on the back side of this laser, depending on what you're doing, this bracket, you can actually adjust it for different cutting and engravings you're working on. Next up, take our control panel, held on by magnets right there, and we'll take this cord. Simple as that. Then all we gotta do is run this cable to a spot. So we got that spot for I'll show you underneath at the beginning. We got this motor, this motor, and the laser. Also, I just noticed this. There's one little cable that's going to go right there. And that's just a stop sensor right there. So that way we know how far left and right we can go. Now with the AMSAC Maker, we have this actual touch screen. More and more lasers are going are starting to go to this. You're going to start seeing more and more on the market. You just watched me do one here a few days ago on one. And this is real easy. Like I said, they already have some pre-designed stuff on here. So we'll select what we want. We'll select our positioning. Finding our center point. And it's doing a basic scan of it now.
and as simple as that i just told it yes i told it what i wanted it to cut making these things easier and easier by the day As you see, it did our first file, no issue. We're gonna take this back. We're gonna select another file we have on here. And we're gonna let it do its thing. Now, you see, cut the little dog out, no issues at all. So what I ended up doing, this came with a rotary. I've done got this all set up and we're running a cup already. It's real simple, all we did, we had one wire that plugged into this and we unplugged this and plugged this cable into it to go to that. Nothing to it, real easy to line up. All you gotta do is just make sure your arch right. And like I said, I imported the G code into this, and it's just going to town. Well, this is actually a second take on this. I didn't have my G code quite right on the file, so I had to load, load up another cup like that. Nice detail. Got a little hot off over here on this leather, but still trying to learn this machine. But I do have to say, turn that off. Ah, definitely liking this rotary right here. So this truck rotary, so you can actually sit here and adjust it with ease. And it had several different settings or different attachments right here for this chuck. Hold on one second. So depending on what it is, we got other style grips. And we also have these right here. So if I'm wanting to say, attach like a baseball or a golf ball or something, I can actually screw these in and it will hold this as well. This right here is one of the best I've dealt with, especially when you're trying to find level on a cup. So for instance, And this right here, that's nice. Put my level on there. And lock it out. Extremely easy. This is one of the, my most favorite features of this laser as it is. Just this alone is, makes this laser worth it. Now I hope y'all like this short little video I have on the Atom Stack Maker. This thing right here, is going to be a great addition to the shop. I'm actually going to probably leave this set up with the rotary on here just so I don't have to change my others out because the rotary on this just makes things so easy, especially once I figure out the, the G code and everything. Where all I got to do is load a little SD card in here, don't have to have it connected to anything. All touch screen makes it simple and easy. Now, if there's something else you want me to do on the Atom Stack, just let me know, leave a message down in the comment, and I plan to do a few more videos with this just to really show off the features of it, because like I said, so far it's been a great little machine. Granted, we haven't done much, but I'm just really impressed with this rotary. I'm Granted, I love the touch screen, love that I can just load some files on here. It doesn't have to be connected to the computer or anything. Big plus right there, and with this rotary.
I mean, that's the, I know that's not the, their main point of this machine. Main point is this right here. But Adam Sack outdid themselves with this. Now, if you can, hit that like button, share this around. And if you haven't, subscribe to this channel. Till next time, y'all take it easy.